All right, Tube, Dre here. And I'm getting ready to get load this car up, but first I'm gonna get that ugly wheel off and put at least this ugly stock wheel with a brand new Goodyear. Um, hoping that's the right size. 225 6 to R16. 225 6 to R16. Well, H, yeah, that's R. I think it's R. But anyway, I'm gonna jack the car up and change this tire and put that tire on and then load it up on this thing right here and get it to the transmission shop. Two, word of advice when you lower your tailgate, make sure it don't hit that thing right there. No, I didn't learn the hard way. I stopped it before it got there. By the way, too, this was a $38 tire and wheel I got from Pull Apart. It looks like a pretty good tire. And this is a brand new Goodyear I got from Walmart for like, um, I think it was six or seven dollars plus $13 to mount and all that other good stuff. I wonder they're gonna try to make me replace the motor mounts. That motor mount there looks pretty good. Oh damn, they balanced the tire too. Damn, Walmart. Word of advice, YouTube, uh, get you some WD-40 and spray on your lug nuts whenever you get a chance. I forgot to bring in. Never take one lug all the way down. Take it until wheel stop, then go the opposite. Take it all the way down. Then go back. And then tighten the rest of them down. Oh, I love the cordless wrenches. I love the cordless wrenches. Who make work so easy? Alright, Tube. Dre here. Word of advice when you're loading a car on a tow dolly or a trailer. Or anytime you load in the car, put your parking brake on because the rig rocks back and forth on the parking pole. It probably won't break the parking pole, but just in case. I know I might sound like some of those prude people be on YouTube want to go by the rules. Um, I've never broken a parking pole before, 
But um, have I ever broken one? I didn't break one, but a friend of mine broke one. He parked on the hill, his mama car on the hill, a brand new Jetta, automatic, parked it on the hill, and didn't put the parking brake on. When he pulled it out, it broke the damn parking brake. We're getting ready to start the Cadillac. Hopefully it'll pull like it do all the time when it's cold and I can pull up on the tow dolly. You have to start driving as soon as you pull off. I mean, as soon as it crank up. If you let the engine cool down, if you let the engine get hot, it won't pull. God damn it, I hate white people door locks. I'm gonna line it up, make sure it's straight. I guess I need to go to the left a little bit. All right, too, when you put in a front wheel drive car, <clears throat> you need to put it in part and make sure the steering wheel is locked straight. You want to make sure the steering wheel is locked because them front wheels, when you go to pulling, they will turn on you. So you need to make sure the steering wheel is locked. Because like I said, it's front wheel drive, you can leave it in part. Just make sure your parking brake is not on in the back. And I left the trunk open because I'm trying to get rid of the smell. All right, now we're gonna um, tie the sucker up right quick. slide this thing over make sure it's pretty square with the tire you want to get this to go in pull it all the way through like that Probably 
make sure this is all the way over the top. Oh, I forgot. I think this is supposed to go through here. I think. No, I think it goes like this. But no, I don't know. I used to put it out here, but I just thought about hell, it might supposed to go through here. But no, I'm just gonna put it out here. That's where I always put it. I don't really think it matters. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Now you want to pick these up. And this is locked. Let's put this on one more time. All right. Okay, parking brake is off. I think everything is on. Everything looks safe. 